Hey guys, it's Randy for Thunderverse Ascendant. I'm here today. Oh, if you've been like Randy, where have you been? Well, let me tell you. I have been to the craft show. I have, we had a craft show last weekend and I got a craft show this weekend. So I've been prepping for that. And then we had, um, what else did we have going on? We had a big sale on Monday. Uh, we introduced our new stuff we're going to carry from Taylor's Falls, and that was our bottle cap beads and our sea glass beads, and we're going to start doing trade beads with Taylor's Falls, so it's been a whole thing. Uh, so I've just been a busy bee. But anywho, today I am here, and I have a bottle cap bead tutorial. It is a memory wire bracelet. It's going to be super fun. Um, so yeah, let's get down to the mat get this party started all right guys here we are on the mat I have a few things here um, but first and foremost I have some memory wire and we are going to be making a memory wire bracelet today I'm going to be using this wolfy bottle cap as my focal point so these are so cool if you are unaware um, we recently started um, selling these on Thunder Horse Ascendant and we're going to be carrying a whole bunch of different kinds. We're just getting them loaded up on the website. But the cool part is, is that these are actually um, circulated bottle caps. So uh, we are recycling, reusing, recycling, right? Repurposing. And so we have two and these are all handmade by Taylor's Falls. And so they, they um, match them up, solder them together, and then drill them. It's quite the process after they dome them out. So, um, yeah, super good. These are $8 on Thunder Horse Ascendant website. We have a bunch of different kinds. So I'm be using that as my focal. Now, we have made this bracelet similarly in the past with leather, but I thought, oh, wouldn't it be fun if we, instead of leather, used a little of this chain? right because I'm hoping that's gonna be fun so I got some bead caps in order to cap my chain off and then for beads I just grabbed these up out of the stash I don't know how many of these we're gonna use but I have a little bloodstone here in my cute jars cuz I love cute jars cute jars make you want to use them you know if there's only five in there <laughs> and then I got a little bit of these white agates and I have some sunstone so I don't know how that's all gonna work out but I'm gonna sprinkle them in I'm gonna sprinkle them in if I can I'm sorry y'all if you hear my air conditioner running Thunder Horse Ascendant is a active working studio and a girl it is oh, I should say ladies and gents it is like 95 degrees out there today so it is what it is. I turned it down. <laughs> Let's get this party started, shall we? So, first things first. Oh, I also have some, I believe these are sixes. Yeah, size six seed beads, just in case I need them. In black. I'm going to zoom you in a smidgey. There we go. All right. So we don't actually need too much of this memory wire. I'm actually only going to take a loop because this is not meant to be this is not meant to be a wrap around memory bracelet I mean like a wrap like a multi wrap it's meant to be like a one and then you have your tails so I basically have one loop and a little bit on each side to make the tails and that's how we're gonna go with that so before we get going the first thing I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to decipher how much of this chain I'm gonna want to use so the chain is going to go around the side of the bracelet so it depends on how much chain you want versus 
how much beads you want. So I'm going to just do a little bit of chain. I'm just going to take my my cutter. Now this cutter is like kind of one that's on its way out. And I'm going to trim this off here. Yep, that's why it's on its way out, I guess. Let's see what I got. There we go. So this chain is hollow inside. I have to be able to get to the inside of it. So I'm just kind of making my way here. Okay, so let me see if I can zoom in on this. So you can see in here, inside the chain is hollow. Once you can get there, you kind of got to trim, trim off this excess a little bit. And this is going to be inside a bead cone, so I'm not terribly worried. But you see how it is a hollow chain. Okay, so that's what we want. So the idea here is that this is going to fit onto the memory wear like so. Okay, so it kind of just depends on how much I want on there. So I'm actually just going to do about, about this much. No rhyme or reason here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side the exact same length. This one is a little shorter, but that's okay because we're going to have to do some trimming to get everything to work out right. So, again, I'm going to get in here and I'm just going to find that hollow piece. This almost kind of peels back like a flower. it off until I get to the hole right here. Alrighty. So there's one side ready. That side's ready and this side's ready. Okay. So let's make sure they're the same length. And this one might be one too big, so I'm going to cut it. All right, so we've made quite the mess, but that's whatever. Here we go. So first things first, I'm going to put on a bead cap. So you can use any kind of bead cap you want. I just want to make sure that it's going to fit over the top of my chain, like so. Okay, so I'll put the bead cone on. And then you are gonna have to do some some twisting and some, some you know, getting this stuff on here because it is at an angle. And this does have a hollowness all the way through it, but it is like, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Follows kind of a a guide. So once I can get out here to the other side, which here I am at the other side. So I got all that chain on there. I'm gonna put the other bead cap on this side. Okay. So in essence, this is what we are going to have. Sorry, I'm going to get my camera to focus here a second. Okay, this is what we're going to have. 
one side. So you want to make sure there's no wire sticking out, nothing lotty dotty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to curl this end up because I don't want anything come sliding off. And I'm just going to make a loop like so. Okay. So there is one side with the chain. So now we have to realize that this is basically going to be give or take the loop here. It's going to be about here, right? And we want to be able to make this the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start stringing on some beads. Now this is going to look a little wonky as you start to put the beads on, but it's fine. You put the beads on however you want. See if these sunstone will fit. No, well, sunstone's not gonna fit. That one's not anyway. And so I'm just doing a little. Okay, so I'm going to take off a couple beads here just to be safe. Because um, I still gotta make this little loop on the end, so I want to make sure I have enough space. So then I'm gonna put my wolf charm my wolf my my uh, bottle cap bead there we go and then I'm just gonna work backwards so I'm gonna go like this Pretty easy, and then now all I have to do after having the bead portion on is put on the other side of the chain. So again I'm going to start with the bead cap, and then I'm going to work on the chain. Pretty smooth, make sure I get that chain up there inside of that bead cap. And then I'm going to go to the other side, just like that. So it worked out pretty well as far as sizing. I could have maybe put a few more beads on, but I'm not worried about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trim off as much as I think I need to trim off in order just to make that loop on the end. So I'm going to leave about a whole finger space there. So I can get my whole finger and then cut right above that. And then this is what I'm going to use to just fold back. Oh, let's see. This way. And I'm just going to fold him back. Now, when you pull up on that, as you could see when I did it, um, the chain kind of scooched into each other. So it does have a little bit of give. And that's good. That's fine. We want that. And then I'm just going to, I've kind of rolled my wire past itself. Right? And that's fine if you want to leave it like that. What I do is I generally just go in there and then kind of pull it out so it's touching, looks a little more... Like it's just touching itself, you know? So there we go. And then you guys, that is the finished product. Now I did make this on the larger memory wire that I have, um, just simply because I like the larger memory wire. I sell my jewelry and sometimes I need to make it a little larger size. So now, 
I think this is super cute. If you are feeling a little insecure about it, you're like, oh, I don't know. Here's a trick. Get yourself one of those little extender chains. Okay. Two oval jump rings. I'll use I'll use the heavy ones. Just because. And so what you can do is you can put a safety chain on here. And you could even utilize your safety chain as part of the design. You could put charms on here to hang off the end, you know, whatever you want. But I'll show you how it works. So you just have your little extender chain. And you're just whoop, you're just hooking on to both of the loops. Your memory wire. So then should it wanna get crazy. So you can when you put it on, it just spreads apart. Because it's memory wire, it's gonna fold up on top of each other like that. And it's not really going to be too cumbersome, but you could put little charms on there if you wanted, like a little wolf charm or something. So that's going to dangle from there. It's really up to you. But that's just a safety safety situation. But yeah, that is how the bottle cap looks. Super cute. And for sizing on the larger memory wire, this is going. To, this is seven and a fourth, without it being spread apart. You know, and then even if you spread it, since it's got that safety chain on there, you could you could get it to fit even a, a man's size. So, there we go. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.